if I'm here in prison. If I'm willing to fight, fight for my country, I'm willing to go to jail for you. And what I believe in is this is an unjust law, this is bullshit in this law, and this is one way to try to keep that free labor for the 21st century labor for a free work and making money off of poor people when they should be taxation the rich. They are the one benefiting from this shit, not me. <laughs> so you you deliberately took an action to take a stand against oppression. Deliberately, it's the fact that hey, me being a marine, me being a boy scout, I learned and acquired certain skills that I. Uh, learn to okay, so survive in this world. Just like every other yeah, like every like every other animal in this world. That's I'm talking about those cats, uh, horses, lions, tigers, and bears, the whole nine yard. And one thing about it, it's in their DNA to get in and out the rain, to protect themselves. For and, and it is literally and, a wait, crime let me, let me to finish. cover your let face from the rain. Let me finish right quick. And God gave me the ability to think. So if I know, if I'm gonna put myself in harm's way, put my, uh, take care of myself to keep myself out of harm's way, such as I could be doing life. I could be facing life because of certain things that uh, go through my head, to certain things that I do that uh, I've been trained to do. And sometimes you know, just, just been a Marine, you think about these things, and somebody says something to me wrong, I could wind up be doing life. Or, so I'd rather choose to live outside among myself and with people I trust than to be, too, than to be warehoused into a building on the floor like I'm cans of sardines. That's not me. I have integrity. I have moral. I have standards. And if you tell me that this country have gotten to the point to where they want to do nothing but harass, keep their foot on the neck of poor people, something is wrong with this country. We, we, this is not about foreign affairs. This is not this about, about local affairs. This is about That's local. Right. All enemies foreign right now and in domestic. the United States. That's right. In the United States, from coast to coast. Mm -hmm. You know, this is ridiculous that a man has to come in here against something that the court can't, didn't give you. Yeah. No man gave you. This is from my, this is from my creator who put this in, into me and gave me a skill set that I learned to survive out here. So you were endowed by your creator with the right to survive. With the right, right to survive. That's right. That's right. This is what this is about. <laughs> Are you sure you're not just being unappreciative of the luxurious accommodations <laughs> that we have provided? Let me tell you something about, about this appreciation. This nice building. No, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Let me tell you something it's, about it's appreciation. Warm. No. Let, let me tell you something about appreciation. <laughs> When I signed at 17 years old to give my life for this country, knowing damn well that was a good possibility to do that, and I came close a couple of times, all right? Do you think that anybody want to be over there in the detention center for a bush in this crime? This is not, this is not a crime against nobody. You know, this, is not, yeah. this is not a crime against nobody. It's, not, it's a victim of crime. Yep. That shouldn't be on the books. That's right. right. Uh, and, and second of all, it is also a crime to continue to warehouse poor people. It, that's all this is about. That's the house. It's warehouse. Yeah. Because if you're really a criminal, you go all the way out there. Yeah. Yeah. You go, yeah, you, yeah. You go to prison. You go, out, <laughs> you go to uh, Fremont, uh, Canyon City. There uh, 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 with the other Florence. Uh, Florence. Florence. We just Florence. did an audit of you know, Florence. The this, this is crazy that a man got to come here and uh, defend himself. This is a waste of taxpayer money. <laughs> this, this is courtroom is waste, 3G, right? Yeah, 3G. This is a waste of taxpayer money. This is a waste of taxpayer time. Our money could be spent better than that. Yes. As a matter of fact, by, as a matter of fact, one good way of spending that money would be would be creating enough. Affordable, or should I say, attainable? I, no, no, not attainable. A low income, that is right? Low, so all that housing is, is basic, affordable to that someone, is right? Based on your paycheck, yeah. on your money income. Now all this make uh, judge. This is uh, Judge Pera Pieras, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, uh, Isabel Pieras. Uh, she's a former. Uh, I don't know if you know anything about her history. It's good to know where your judges are. Yes, from. it does make sense. She was a, a chief deputy district attorney for the second. Judicial District, which is the Denver District Attorney's Office, worked under Mitch Morrissey and Beth McCann. She advised you of some of your risks today. Uh, actually, she asked the people to advise you. They, 
for, for lack of completing community service hours, they are putting you at risk of how much jail time? Uh, two to four. Two to four years. Oh, I could get rid. I could get rid. They did the two to four more, years. More, more. It's whatever they want to do. And, 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 and you two, are literally taking a stand. Me, I'm, ta so I'm taking a stand against it because this is not right. Period. This is unjust. Because so for the crime of sleeping outside question. in the cold with a blanket, you face two to four years in jail unless you do 32 hours of slave labor. I did this shit when I was in Marine Corps. Yeah. When I went to the field, I slept in a tent. When I went to the field, I slept in a sleeping bag. Train and pay millions of dollars to train us to do. That's right. And to keep myself out of harm's way and to keep other people out of harm's way. But and that's the gist of right here. You have this, this Denver right to survive. We've yeah. got the vote coming up in, in May. Uh, right to survive. Uh, this guy, Jesse Paris, is working yes, towards that same thing. Denver. Right? Be a problem. I tell you House like, keys, not handcuffs. Yeah. Right? I, I, <coughs> so I'm, you I'm, I'm are taking one a stand thing. not just for yourself, I'm, but for all those people. I'm, I'm going to tell you one more thing, man. I'm going to cut this short. Yeah. Um, in life, you have risk, you have reward. That's right. If you ain't willing to from the line for what you believe in, then you ain't gonna, you, you're not going to take a risk and you ain't going to get no reward. You are going to continue to have their neck upon, their foot upon your neck. At 17 years old, I would take a reward, a risk, yeah. by signing my name to become a U.S. <laughs> North Korean. For, for, for three years, I served my country honorably. And it just, I was just thinking about this last night before I actually went to sleep. And, and you know, most times the funny thing about this shit here is, is, is this. I can tell you, each time that I almost like went to war, or had to fight, I had to protect myself. And guess what? It was behind some white stupidityness. I'm not prejudiced, I'm not in Cuba. This one guy, white guy, sergeant, all of a sudden get a hair up his ass and go in there and go to the army, take his pistol, go down and get a tank. And the tanks is always around in there. Nobody's stopping us from video And the thing is, he went to the fence. The Cubans weren't doing anything. Mind their own business. Mind their own fucking Mind business. Own, business. Everything has a risk. Everything, everything in life has a, what I'm trying to say is, everything in life has a risk and a reward. It's up to the individual have to know himself and what he's willing to pay to give my life for this country. You think I won't be willing to do some damn time? That is as as, as ridiculous as this fucking ban. Are you concerned that if you had to do four cause would be lost? I won't be abandoned. No, so the point is, I won't be abandoned, and the right cause and the cause would not be lost. No, it would not. But be. what would happen is more people would probably take back. They would martyr you. You know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would definitely. Yeah, so. So that's where I'm going to end this thought stream, folks, because my uh, memory space is getting low. That's Jerry Burton. Jerry is facing two to four years for failing to do community service because he was found guilty of the crime of sleeping. This is Brian Loma with Cut the Plastic. Hit that like and share button. Appreciate y'all.